So I want to take a step back and review the fundamental equation, which as you can see here is that um, essentially the conservation equation, especially for reactive systems, needs to be expanded. So you have the in minus out plus what's generated, and that could be the amount created or amount destroyed, which would be negative, equals what's accumulated. And that's the amount that's changing with time. And so in, in this scenario, there are um, three common uh, simplifications that, that one makes, and they are to account for the, the special cases. So one of those cases is a steady state. And in steady state, it could be um, a steady state operation. You don't accumulate anything. So what's in minus what's out plus what's generated is zero. And then in a closed system, what's generated is equal to uh, what's accumulated. And in a non-reactive process, uh, nothing is generated. So you just have in minus out equals what's accumulated. OK, let's take a look at a simple case. This is uh, carbon reacting with hydrogen to form methane. And uh, if we consider this a system, we could say that it, it could be an, a steady state system or an open system where carbon and hydrogen are coming in reacting to form methane and, and nothing's accumulated in the reactor. Uh, or we could call this like a semi-batch process. We introduce carbon and hydrogen um, and then we produce uh, methane in the reactor. Or we can look at a, a model of a batch process where we have carbon, hydrogen loaded up into this processor and uh, after, over a period of time, we lose the carbon and hydrogen and then we form the methane. So if we were to do a systems analysis of this, uh, it might look something like this, where this open system, here's the system boundary, here's the semi-batch boundary, and here is the boundary around the batch system. Now, what would the equations look like if we were analyzing those three cases? Well, um, we start out uh, just looking at the case of carbon. But we know that in minus out is, or plus what's generated, is equal to, and by the way, generated could be positive or negative, is equal to what's accumulated. And so, um, let's see, starting with the first case, uh, the equation that we would write is that, well, we have um, one carbon going in, we have no carbon going out. We lose one carbon, and we don't accumulate anything. In the second case, we have one carbon going in. Once again, no carbon going out. We lose one carbon, and we don't accumulate anything. Now, in the case of the batch reactor, uh, case three, we might say none coming in and none going out. We um, lose one, and uh, the accumulation, which is the amount that you get over time, is also uh, something that we lose. So in this case, we have a negative one.